And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Marauder mid-range to kick off meme tier Monday. Looks like we're going with the M alliteration words. Um, we are going to be having five fun decks. We're going to be having some fun today. Uh, you know, we, was, we will be playing these in ranked, so we'll see what our records look like. May not be the best, but that's not really what Monday's about. It's about having fun. And so our first deck, what we're going to do is build around Legion Marauder. So Legion Marauders has attack, grant, allied at Legion Marauders everywhere, plus one, plus one. So that means we're going to need a lot of Legion Marauders. So to help us out, we have um, we have Parade Electro Rig that can uh, do the support, shuffle four copies of, of the supported ally into your deck. So if we attack with the Electro Rig and a Marauder, uh, the Marauder supporting it, we get four new Marauders in the deck. There is counterfeit copies is a card that we could also get some more in the deck, but I, I feel like just spending an entire card for that effect probably isn't worth it, so we just just have the Electro Rig there. We also got these shady characters that we can play to transform and, and uh, copy the Legion Marauder. Basically, we get to clone the uh, Marauders. Um, playing a Chief Mechanist Zevi. Whenever you draw a card, give it fleeting and create a copy of it. So if we... Uh, draw one of those Marauders that we shuffle into the deck. Uh, we, you know, create a copy of it so we can play a fleeting copy first. And also a Hextech Transmogulator that can transform any one of our other followers into a Legion Marauder for us. Hopefully we can attack twice with these Legion Marauders and get them up to five power because then our, our defense to stay alive and everything is going to be Reckoning. We got two Reckonings. Um, and then we can get rid of a whole bunch of smaller things. Also, because it is an attack trigger, we're going to need more attacks. Also, not only do we need more Legion Marauders, but we need more attacks. So that's where Katarina comes in. You know, once uh, once you level up Katarina, you know, every time you play, you get to rally. So we can get a lot of attacks in for our Legion Marauders. Um, besides that, some other card choices. I'm going with Vi as just a, a good mid-range uh, defensive champion like this can just be really good in combat help the game go longer help us find legion marauder and more things um you know if i can just do a lot like that legion drummer will uh if if we're not supporting legion marauder with the electro rig we'll support with the drummer to give the marauder quick attack so it can stay alive so we don't just attack they block it's dead we want to be able to attack it has quick attack so they can't block it it stays alive so we get to continue to attack with it the next turn we also have Blood for Blood. We got a couple of these. Deal one to an allied follower. If it survives, create a copy of it in hand. So we can create a couple more copies of Legion Marauder that way. And then we have ways to dig. You know, like we have Rummage to dig through the deck to, to look, um, for, you know, to try to find Marauder. Same with the Urchin. These kind of give us some card draw. Um, and then same with like the Progress Day up at the top end. So that's what our deck's all about. We're going to be trying a Legion Marauder themed deck. I guess we should probably switch this up. Let's see, Marauder is Noxus card, and still need to earn the rest of the sleeves. We're getting there. Um, we'll go with the T-Hex. All right, let's go play some games. So Marauder, mid-range, there you are. Here we go. Um, honestly, probably not Luto. Probably not. All right, we got one Legion Marauder. Let's get rid of the other drummer and just kind of see what else we get. Because we're going to curve two, three. We don't really need another drummer for like turn four. Okay, so turn four, we could play another Marauder because we could do like Blood for Blood plus Marauder. Unfortunately, we're, we have the attack turn two and turn four, not attacking turn three. So it's not like we get to play Marauder and attack with it immediately. We also just can't sit back and just take millions of damage either. Uh, 
All right, so I want to shady character this, but it's a little... Hmm. It's a little risky because it is like a, a trigger that they get to respond to. And so they just respond with like a single combat, which it kind of looked how they how they like stopped and thought. It kind of kind of feels like they have a single combat. So I'm going to go Parade Electro Rig. Be able to support it. If they use single combat, then I'm going to... Now we get four more in our deck. Kind of blood for blood, put it back in my hands. Now, if they want to use single combat, that's fine. Doesn't seem like my opponent really um, approves of my meme tier plan. All right, don't think I'm going to have time for progress day. So we're going to mulligan that. Or, you know, discard that, basically. Not mulligan it, but, you know, discard it. No! Ow! What do we got here? <laughs> Surprise, they just traded Quinn for Electro Rig. Seems surprising, right? Ah. Marauder. This reckoning could be really good, to me. potentially. You have run. So they both, you know, both attacking. They they give all of them plus one plus one. So they, you know, we give them plus two plus two. So they're six fives. So they want to block. They got to block with Sithria. I feel like I, could, I should rummage. No. Alright, come on, play. Ugh, I need to just play something. So I have 10 mana. Am I discarding the thermogenic beam or the shady character? The thermogenic beam. Maybe I should discard the reckoning. Hey, Blade. No, you're right on time. We're just starting. It's our first game. There's that single combat that they have shown that they've had this whole time. 
And doing that before damage, we don't even take five. That's pretty good. It's still just kind of risky to play the shady character, right? I mean, I guess if they had another single combat, they probably would have just played it. Come on. Work, work. Yeah. Boo. Oh, they didn't plunder. They didn't plunder. Man, I'd like to play Vi first, but we don't have the mana to play Vi first. What if I just passed? Um, only at a certain rank, Mike. Uh, you start losing points for losing, but, like, to start with, you don't. Once you get to, like, Platinum, you, like, gain and lose the exact same amount. Um, for losses and wins. Really wish I could follow up with this reckoning. Because casting a spell would turn this into five five power. I'm sorry, Ludo. I'm sorry. My duty's done. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Don't hold back. Bring it. Hey, Blade, gifting out some subs. Thank you, Blade. All right, hit that sub goal. <laughs> um. Come on. Maybe better to do that. Block, I'm going to block this Cythria and trade and then play new Vi. I've come so far. I wouldn't mind drawing a, a Legion Marauder. Yep. Felt like they were going to rally. Or if I if I would have done the trade, then I would have. Um, oh yeah, that's fearsome. I don't even get to block. Man, that's broken. You gotta be kidding me. Forgot about the fearsome. Did forget about the fearsome. Because if I would have done the trade, then then they would have been able to attack. You know, they would have hit me for six, which would have put me down to six, and then would attack again for six, and I would have had a chump block with the Vi. So that's why I went with the Quinn. But yeah, I forgot about the fearsome. Thank you, Blade. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.
Yep. Uh, let's see. Get rid of... Oh, man. Zed Garen. Basically the same kind of deck that we just played against. These Demacia decks are pretty ruthless. They're pretty ruthless. Alright, there's a Marauder. Okay, and I think we just play Marauder. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Alone, we see things as they truly are. Hmm. So this is a standalone deck. I was thinking this was going to be. Um, you know, usually a standalone deck plays Fiora, but I guess they're playing Garen. I was thinking this was going to be like Bannerman Zed. Oh, you're welcome. Have you started playing the, the new set yet, Blade? Not good chances that Blade's Edge kills that. But we could try. Slow down, will you? Hmm. No going back. Well, there's better chances now. Nice. Yeah, I love the new set. Nice. Here we go. Me too. Hopefully this works. We're still taking t we're still taking 8. What? I wasn't even blocking that thing anyway. Give that elusive this round? I didn't even block it. Well, I have to play Death Lotus. Oh yeah, I'm loving it too. Yeah, this is, I mean, just like the whole like Bilgewater is sweet, like all the pirate stuff and everything. Bilgewater is a really cool region. <laughs> I didn't realize that Shady Character had this sweet sound effect. Got some six fives. So Katarina hits, bounce, bounces back to our hands. We're gonna discard that Katarina for this urchin to be able to play the urchin as like a blocker. And I'm discarding the one they know about. I don't want to discard like a different Katarina so then, then they know that I have a Katarina in hand. 
Yes, more Marauders. Let's go. So I may need this fervor to do damage. This is so cheesy. I mean, our deck's pretty cheesy. I mean, obviously our deck's cheesy, but it's... Okay, we didn't die. We didn't die. That's important. Not dying is pretty important. Yeah, I know, right? Three mana six fives? That is that is some value right there. If they had a rally, they could have played it during combat. But then I would have tried to do you know, I would have tried to use removal. I didn't want to use removal while they were attacking because if I do that then they use like a standalone or like some kind of some kind of pump. I mean I guess they don't have standalone because they would have cast that, but some kind of Pump like that, that that keeps it alive. They do more damage to me. Hey, Matoto. Well, so I did discard the Katarina that they knew about. And <laughs> now these are three mana eight sevens. <laughs> Legion Marauder is pretty sweet. How you doing? Yeah, I'm kind of with you there, Forks. Marauder is probably under an underrated card. Could see some more play. Oh, I guess that single combat's gonna work. I can. I can Death Lotus basically so that. It's not worth it though. I could Death Lotus basically so that this, this Marauder doesn't take 4 damage. But it's not worth it. Because uh, so, like, this gets to do two damage. <laughs> They're too big! They're too big. Alright, the Marauder victory. One and one on Meme Tier Monday. If we can. Stay around 500. I'm happy with that. But all right, beat the the standalone deck. We outraced him. Yeah, you be yeah, get a couple of Marauders out there. Pretty soon you have ca Catastrophe level Marauders. The Katarinas were pretty awesome. Getting some more attacks. I mean, I guess we only we only did technically get one extra attack, but that still was good enough. All right, the burn deck can probably go underneath. Um, good hand, though. Yeah, the burn deck can probably go underneath Marauders, but we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna make a earn it at least. We're gonna make a earn it. Turn one, get a two one and a one one, and whenever your two one dies, you draw a card. It's a pretty good turn one. Um, do I even attack with this to trade here? Actually, I probably don't. Do I?
Because the Scuttler is going to trade with that. Boom Crew Rookie is so good. I don't know if y'all have figured that out yet. What do we got here? Anything else? <laughs> don't want them to be able to, you know, block 3 1 on 4 3. So Legion Drummer doing its job. Protecting my Marauder. Good job, Drummer. main event. You suck. Just gonna put this here. Thanks, dudes. Yeah, glad you're liking that deck. That deck has been performing really well for me. First me, then the world. No. At least that's not them mystic striking me. Grenadier is such a good blocker. Still take two damage. It's just it's just worth pulling it to the side so they don't kill my urchin, I think. I don't know, maybe it's not. Do I want more Vi's in the deck? Ugh. Oh, I probably should I should have just cast this. Shouldn't I? Man, I should have just cast this. It would have been that one extra point of damage. Are you kidding me? They just have the seven then. Ugh. So I couldn't. I couldn't play the drummer. Like they would have killed me if I would have played drummer. But if I would have played the thermogenic beam at end step, I would have got one more point of damage, and that would have made the difference. Man, this game is tough. It's so punishing at some points. They just had, you know, that last ten points. Um, or 11. The last 11 in in three burn spells. Man. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah, there's... That's true. There is a ton of moves and counter moves to take into account. So, yeah. I mean, it's just like, it's like any kind of good strategy card game. I mean, you're not going to be amazing whenever you're a beginner. That's true. Um, so, you know, you do need to... You do need to play a lot. You know, you need to have things like that come up. That you kind of notice and see and then realize, okay, well, we're going to do that next time. Yeah, I, I agree, though. Yeah, yep, our, our deck's playing pretty good for ranked. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. Like, we're we're in there. I thought that burn matchup was going to be pretty tough, but um, we were right there. We were right there. My hand was really good, though. My hand was, like, as, as good as it could be, to be honest. I think I'll keep Vi. I guess it's good to keep Vi in hand anyway, because it'll get more things.
All right, well, we have our combo with Marauder and Blood for Blood at turn two. It looks like I'm not doing anything, so we'll bank the two spell mana for the Blood for Blood for next turn. Alright, so we won't kill their spider, but we'll get a new Legion Marauder in hand. Which will be a 4-3 now. No! Dude, what if they just took my Legion Marauder? That'd be so mean. what to do this turn. Alright, well, I think I just figured it out. Anyone hurt? <laughs> we'll go that with the Legion Drummer. The problem with playing Legion Drummer is they may just have another Make It Rain with this Powder Keg. Like, maybe we need to go straight to attacks. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Yeah, especially now. That's pretty risky, because if I do this, then they have Make It Rain. They kill my Marauders. We need to just attack. Say your farewells. Got to attack before something bad happens. I keep step with the heartbeat of Nazis. We march as one and unstoppable. All right, looks like they took. Yeah, they they took the Legion drummer from my deck. Darn. Hoping they would play something pre-combat, and then I would Reckoning. Um, so if I block there, we're going down to seven. Go to nine. First me, then the world. No! Don't do three damage. Rude. Vi stands for vicious. Be nothing left when I'm done. Cool, yeah, it'll be my first time playing Aurora Porealis. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, we'll be doing that up next with the Poros. Alright, clear that up. I'm not greedy. My friends though. <laughs> uh, they took a parade electro rig from me. They were probably hoping for something better. Alright, let's get some more Legion Marauders in this deck. So yeah, it's a 10-4. It has like that little bit of visual bug there that makes it look like it has 18 power for a second. 
Ooh. Oh no. Riptide Rex. Okay, so we have one, two, three of these targeting that. Really, they only have one targeting the 2-2? Two -two? That's convenient. And then three targeting this thing. Uh, let's have this do this. I think this puts me down to six. That's correct. Never gonna Not gonna get a blade's edge to finish off Rex. Alright, they're putting a bunch more Rexes in their deck. Um Maybe hey, square, my day's going great. Yeah, day's going great. I'm real excited to play all these fun decks. This looks pretty scary. This does look pretty scary. They just have a make it rain. I feel like if I play Reckoning, they're gonna kill this. But then if they do that... Yeah, you're right. That's not so bad for me. Let's see, so they kill that. They still have a 2-2. I would have to play like Katarina and not attack. Or play that thing. Oh, I don't have an attack token, right? Um, no. I tried I tried to play the Katarina inside so tried tried to go for that but um They're holding on to these for something Feels like make it rain. But I don't know what the other two cards are. Oh, it was Withering Whale. What's up, Rex? Bringing that hype. Keeping that sub going. Thank you, Rex. We faced you earlier in here. Just played against... You know, my opponent just played a Rex. Riptide Rex a little bit ago. No going back. Only fools hesitate.
Well, if I would have played Katarina, they would have used the... The... Um... Oh no. Use a withering whale to to really wreck me. Never lost a fair game. Unfortunately this only does followers. We can't copy champions, so we can't copy Katarina or Twisted Fate. Even though that would be nice. Man, these salvages are rough. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Stop taking all my stuff. We could just turn this into a three three. Connect. Come on, connect, connect, connect. What is this? Failed to connect. What's going on? Boo. What is this? Anybody else having trouble? Due to high traffic, you've been placed into the login queue? What is this? Okay, back in. All right, so that same thing was happening for y'all too, huh? No going back. They'll be floating along now. Can they call me a shark? Well, we got to top deck time. Opponent top decked very well, drawing two of those salvages back to back. Um, you know, draw twos. And so they just got too far ahead. The, lo the last turn was, was harsh, but honestly, it actually worked out kind of good for me. If I w It was kind of a trap. If I would have played anything, we would have gotten blown out by Withering Whale. So it actually kind of worked out that I didn't do anything. Which is weird enough. Um, I could have I could have attacked with our 10-1 and gotten five damage across, but that wouldn't have made a difference. Pwn just had really good answers for everything that we threw at him. He still can't get in. Yeah, it has been ever since ever since the re the release this past week, Rex. It has been. No. Yeah, I guess guess they're having troubles with the servers though. Well, 
What's up, QQ? How you doing? <laughs> we got we got a new bot now. And it tells you like what all the cards do. The Hawktie bot. You just have to type exclamation point card and then part of the card name and it will tell you what it does. Well then. It's telling you it can't connect? Yeah, it's, it's not letting me connect to a game. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? So, like, if, if I have a card, like, here that's, like, in hand or anything that you can't quite see, um, or, you know, if you're on mobile so you don't have mobile addicts, like, in the chat, you just type exclamation point card, and then the title, and, you know, you don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I wonder if you, if you, so yeah, you just did Mystic and it worked. Yeah, the problem is like Legion has too many cards. <laughs> what if you like misspell? What if you do Mystic without the, I don't know, the S? Oh, whoops, I have to do card. Nope, okay. Yeah, you can't misspell it. Matchmaking has failed. You have failed this city. <laughs> you have failed this city. So what do we do now? We can do anything we want. Except for play. I want this Freljord card back. Can we re-roll? I want to re-roll this not being able to connect. Let's re-roll that. <laughs> yeah, time to play Breath of the Wild Master Trial on stream. Oh, there we go. Did it work? It worked. <laughs> I, I probably could beat RE3 in an hour with the Infi Rocket Launcher. I don't know, an hour's tough. Probably an hour 15. Give me like an hour 15. I should... Never mind. I was gonna say I should keep uh, the Thermogenic Beam, but then I realized what we're playing against and I said never mind. Where's my Marauders? We got the drummers, as far as the Legion goes. Yeah. The world There's a Marauder. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Attack. Wow, that's broken. Turn two, get a great two drop and a mystic shot, both on turn two. I'm scared they're just gonna kill this. Cool. Could just go straight to attacks. Probably should have. We'll see. They already played one Mystic shot though. Come on. I didn't think it was like super real. You know, I didn't think they would have like another Mystic shot since they already played one. I think that was like a, a real good chance of that. I wonder how good this Chief Mechanist is going to be. Probably pretty great. Do I shuffle Vise into my deck with this thing? 
Do I even want to draw more Vi's? The thing is, Vi's champion spell is really bad. So I think the answer is no. So we'll attack like this. Deny, deny. A lot of denies. For this metagame where deny doesn't do anything. All right, whenever we draw a card, give it fleeting and create a copy. Don't blink or you'll miss me. <sighs> Punish just being jerks with all these elusives. That's why I didn't want to make copies of I. Like, these Vault Breakers are not good. They're not good at all. Can't stop me. I guess we can discard one. Obviously, they're going to be Mystic Shotting the Zevi, I think. So I guess it's not obvious, but I think. Huh, that's worse. Non -optimized. Idiots. We are very important. <laughs> yeah, Zevi does kind of ruin progress day, doesn't it? It's just all... All ephemeral stuff. They're all whatever, fleeting. Everything's fleeting. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. How do they have so many Mystic Shots? Give me a break. Firing. Not done. Remember what? Coming at ya. It's too late for you. I leveled up Ezreal. All right. Well, we we had a last couple opponents had some, you know, really good answers. Had what they needed. I had one game that one of those games could have been a win. You know, it was it was that that third game you know that we learned about. Like if I would if I would have played Thermogenic Beam for zero, we would have leveled up Vi one more. Point, and then it turned out the next turn after their removal, I was one point short. And, um, you know, I wish, wish we would have played that thermogenic being for zero. It would have been two and three. Um, but there we go. We got to do some cool things with Legion Marauder. Card looked good. Um, shady character didn't look so good. It was really because, like, how they get to respond to the play trigger makes this pretty difficult. Um, and Parade Electro Rig. You know, like this isn't really that that good of a card, but we're we're just playing it in our Marauder meme deck. Uh, Marauder though looked pretty good. Like it just seems like we could probably just be putting Marauder in like normal Noxus decks. Like it's it's a pretty decent three drop to be honest. Um, you know, we probably don't need like these kind of meme cards with the Electro Rig and the Shady character stuff like that. You really don't need that those kind of cards uh, to make um, Marauder good. Uh, Flame Chopper, like basically the discard package, the discard stuff. Honestly, like if if I had to pick out like the what the worst was with our deck, it was like the discard stuff. Like Flame Chopper is the, that was just a dead card. 
this this card never did a single thing ever um and i was thinking that maybe like flame you know we could have flame chompers to discard to one of these and that like if they had a blocker that would kill marauders we could challenger that blocker and have our marauders be able to attack freely that's like the theory behind it but in uh, reality i wish we just had like two more removal spells or or a little bit more card draw i kind of do wish we had like that second progress day for some of those matchups but oh well um all right that's our first one today marauder mid-range even though like the thing is like that's why i kind of got to watch these games because like if you just kind of look at the record, say 1-4, okay, well, that deck's not any good. But really, one of those games, so if I made one different play, that Thermogenic Beam, it's a 2-3. and three. And uh, and then besides that, two of those three losses, or maybe even all three, yeah, really, all, all three of the other losses were all close games. Um, that a couple of cards here or there, uh, you know, like they had some removal spells. Like the last two, they just had their last few removal spells really line up well against me. Um, where if they have different removal and, and it doesn't line up so well, you know, that could have been different. But like, it's not... Like, our deck felt... Our deck definitely felt competitive. Is it... Um, no, it's not, like, one of the best things to be doing, obviously. Like, this is Meme Tier Monday. But this was a very competitive deck. All right. That's it here from Marauder Midrange, though. Let's go play some Poros. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, leave those comments. What do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? Let me know in the comment section. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Marauder Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.